a great trend in gardening is hookeras. Now, all these are hookeras. Um, they've got hookeras that come in a, a red color, burgundy colors. They have names like obsidian, orange marmalade. They do fantastic in the Northwest. But after they've been in the ground for a couple of years, they kind of get giraffe necks. What does that mean? Well, look here. You can see here this hookera. Look at this long stem. It's all woody. It's trying to grow babies, but it's going to get so woody and it's going to weaken. So what I recommend that you do is you take the pruning shears and I'll just cut that long stem out. Then it's easy to pull off the old leaf petioles and you are left with a plant that has no roots. But because it's a hookera, and because the hookeras love to grow here, all you do is dig a hole, put that stem in the ground, firming it around. Now, if it's not gonna be raining, I will give that some water, keep it kind of moist and the roots will form. And then what about this stem that I cut off? Well, you can see already it's trying to sprout and grow more, but look at over here, I cut this long stem off a little earlier. It was even kind of rotting, but still from the base up comes a beautiful new orange marmalade hookera. Uh, these plants are slug resistant, they're deer resistant. Well, the deer take a taste of them every now and then, but they don't come specifically to eat them. They got lovely little blooms on them, and these blooms are great for the local pollinators, and they also are wonderful foliage plants to grow in containers. So, wonderful garden trend, especially if you're a lazy gardener, the hookeras.